Welcome back to another video. Uh, yeah, part two of work on that. And motivation has slightly evaded me today. So all we've done today really is put a scrap block in the engine bay just so I can figure out what sort of engine mounts are gonna go where, but I'll show you that in a second. Um, and I wanna show you something uh, in regards to the rear end as well, because um, obviously I've done a few bits underneath there. We've got a new diff to go in courtesy of uh, Reese at DNR Customs. So like I say, Instagram link is in the bio, go check them out. Um, they've got, you know, you name it. I'll, I'll put a picture up of their cars now. Um, and you can see just why I use them for 100E advice. So yes, I'll um, I'll show you what I've done so far today and uh, I'll show you the engine as well because that's in about a million bits as well, so I'll show you that. This is the current uh, state of the engine bay. This is the 2 litre ZTEC blacktop. This is a scrap bottom end I got. The bores are all rusty and the pistons are all seized in there. So see scrap, obviously it's not being held up at the moment. It's just resting on the, um, the steering rack and the, sub the cross member down here. So it's not in its final position it's at the moment it's tilted like this where it needs to be sort of flat so yeah but it gives me an idea of how these are going to work because i've got little plates that go here and obviously i've got to just shift this cut this off here shift it so it's dead straight and it'll weld straight in the middle of the plate and it's this side done uh, on this side though obviously there's nowhere to put the plate there's just these two bolts here which isn't going to be a great deal of use because they're not even in line with where the chassis mount actually is. So we've got to try and figure out a way to sort of incorporate um, these two holes, the one up here, and sort of make a mount that sits in this sort of area um, because the alternator's going to be sitting here, so it won't fit there either. Um, so yes, the gearbox is in. We've got the gearbox in. Obviously the interior is still a complete mess. But yes, we've got the gearbox in, shifters attached, that all works lovely jubbly no problem at all um just going through a load of bits in here obviously this before i bought it had a cosworth yb engine in it so there is the boost gauge he used um temperature gauge. obviously all this wiring's got to be sorted out this is actually a boost controller and it does actually work behind there is the boost controller itself and it is all plumbed in um so yeah he's, he spent some money doing this this little thing but he didn't ever bother doing the bodywork so He's more interested in getting it running and driving and then doing the bodywork. But it is what it is. Uh, as you can see there as well, we have got an exhaust system for it. This is two and a half inch um, all the way down. It's going to go underneath the axle at the moment, I think. Um, but I've got to figure out just how it's going to work because at the moment it's going to sit like that. But obviously it's going to be right on the floor. So we'll figure that out when it comes to it. Um, parts in the boot is absolutely shit loads of them. We've got the prop shaft. These welds need cleaning up. We need to sand them back, grind them back, and then go over that again. But the prop shaft is ready to go other than that, just that tidying up. Um, that's good to go. Obviously, bike carbs in here, I need to re-jet them again because I think the jets I've got are too big. So I'm going to just put some smaller ones in to start with. And then I've got the bigger ones if they don't work. Close that down because I'm done. I'm done for today now. Um, and I'll show you... I'll show you the engine in bits in the garage. So the engine did absolutely loads of bits here, as you can see. We've got the we have the pistons out because on the rings. I've also done the uh, stem seals of the cylinder head, and I'm going to be doing obviously. Um, a few other bits as well, done little bearings in the bottom, so they're all new. Uh, got the ZTEC rear wheel drive pickup on there, obviously the sump's on the other engine in the bay, so that I can figure out where the um, other bracket's going to go. I can show you. This is the bracket, and basically, they want you to fit it on here. Now, this is where my alternator is going to sit, so that won't work, because the uh, engine mount won't be able to go there. So I'm thinking, if I can get a piece that uses all three bolt holes here, and then goes up to here um, because these are raised off of the block this is actually this will sit flush against the block and the mount will sit slightly off of it so i can use that as a mount but we'll see because uh they don't even line up there so we have to sort that out as well but if i can sort of do that and then have one going up to this hole um just so that doesn't do this and flex all the time we might be able to get away with it but we'll see I've, um if anyone's got any other ideas let me know but the i think that is where they want you to put it. 
and obviously that's not going to work because my engine mount from the car the chassis mount is here and not there so it won't work like that but we'll figure it out we'll get there at the end um and yeah that's the engine obviously new new rings that needs to be clean up before i put the head on but the head's at home um just being rebuilt at the moment so yeah that's good but yeah today's today's been a tough one um i was hoping that i'd be able to get more done but uh i'm just tired i'm absolutely exhausted just to monitor you with work and i'm doing loads of bits after work so just a bit tired um i think that we'll come back to it when i haven't got the kid with me so i can do some welding because uh welding is the next step really eh? to weld the diff up and sort of weld these engine mounts into position in the bay here um the wiring is going to be tricky as well because i'm uh I'm not the best with wiring, but um, it should be pretty self-explanatory. There's there's three wires here. Where they go, I don't know. <laughs> um, but as long as I can find the starter motors, starter motor wires and um, the ignition switch for the starter motor solenoid, I think we'll be okay. That isn't it, that's a light bulb. So that must be for an indicator, again. Loads of random wires, I don't know what any of them do. But we'll um, we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it. Let's get the engine in, get the exhaust on, get the carbs fitted, and then we'll worry about engine looms and um, where the wires go and how they work. So I've got my work cut out as well. On um, most normal 100Es, there's actually a panel that comes right out almost to here on both sides um, that the radiator bra brackets mount to. So obviously this is all missing because the fact that it's had a massive intercooler in here and probably a much bigger radiator, but it does mean that all of this is very flexy, which also means when you put the bump, when you put the bonnet on, it does this, it flops around everywhere. So I have got this piece in the boot so I can reinforce it there, but it's still not gonna be that strong. So I'm thinking I might have to make a little something that goes back down to uh, where it came from originally. So. We'll have to think about that when we when it comes to it, but yeah, it's just uh, today's been a struggle. A struggle today, just trying to get everything to click and work together has been hard work. But yeah, I've got such a large amount of work to do. But I just want to get it running, engine in and running, and that way I know that the engine's good. Um, and if it drives, I know the drivetrain's also good, so I can then start rowing about tidying up the inside and doing the uh, paintwork because I think the NR Customs are going to help me out with the paintwork as well because they painted theirs so um that would be greatly appreciated if they could do that but yes um that is the 100e update not a great deal done today i have to say but we are um we're getting there i've got a couple of days of work coming up so that'll be the two days when this gets really hammered and uh, i get as much work done as i possibly can on it because i won't have the kids so it'll be quite nice um this here is katie's uh zr the channel 200 turbo zr um obviously as you can see it's just sat here and it has been sat here for about six months um so we're planning on doing a few bits to it because it's not been the most reliable um in regards to the build quality of it it's not been great it's more of a rush build and it was just a case of getting it in so that it worked but the radiator needs to be changed um, because it's too small and the fan touches the turbo down there as you can see so that needs replacing um it, as it's been sat here this fuel line here has deteriorated so when you turn the ignition on now it just pisses out fuel everywhere so that needs to be sorted as well and obviously it's going to need brakes and a good clean but it's all stuff that can be done um in a weekend really nothing that's too difficult but yes again i thank you guys for watching the video this one's been a bit boring i know but it's just an update on the uh, 100e and there's not a great deal more that i can do today really because i've got to start cutting and welding stuff and with um little dude around it's not really not really good practice to start welding where he is it's not fair for him so um yes we'll uh we'll get back on with the engine when we get home got the head to rebuild put new valve stems and seals in it and we'll get it back on the engine but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the videos there's plenty more of this where this is coming from so um yes keep your eyes peeled make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in a bit laters